That's one. Ah, here we are.
I'll be having that. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. You got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? <sighs> I'm going to take them back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling the treasure's around there somewhere. with these bodies. By the way, I saw Wes Dickey. He told me there's no ammunition in that machine gun of yours. Sounds like I need to pay Irish another visit. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Treasure hunters! Try and outrun them, partner! Damn, nation! I'm gonna look for the map back here! You try to shake those damn rednecks! I'm gonna send this right back to the gate! This will all be over soon. Yeah! This fella had a few bucks on So, I guess this is goodbye. Are you hiding something to yourself? Oh, you naughty little boy! Hey, you handsome feller. Ooh, oh, oh, a bottle of elixir. Thank you, my friend. Sorry there ain't time for a burial, partner. You're stiff as a whore. 
Relax! I just want a little look-see. Blue's got a kiss for sad. Oh, look here! I found me a few bullets! Thanks, partner! Be seeing you very soon! Oh, boy! Come on, whisper to me. Well, look at this. Some elixir. Go left up here. Looks like the treasure's in Tumbleweed. That's where I was headed. It's fate. Keep going. We're almost there. We gotta go faster, Park. Maybe then you can take a bath. Thanks, mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister.
This looks like the one. That's what I wanted. There we go. There we go. That's one. Come on. Might as well. That's the flower. That's what I've been after.
Guess you owe me. Come on, let's get this over with. You stink! Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely, nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. 
We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy! I'll show you the way! So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it! I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful and Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Pitchwood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help. But I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. There it is, John. Rathskeller Fork. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes the rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. Let's go. Let's see what you're made of.
he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunco, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart, and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's loves by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? Oh, I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. Have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave themselves medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? 
You gon' made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on then. All right, follow me. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha! So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? I'm just like you. A real sweetheart. I gotta ask, mister. Didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you. Good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. to go back to your special man. Miss, are you speaking to that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. 
You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> Can a guy get a little privacy? 